Good morning, all you lovely people. Welcome back to the grumpy old get on the cut in the corner with attempt 3 0 at doing a video today. Um, yeah, my computer's uh, doing as it's asked to do about as well as Roland is, but anyway, on with today. <coughs> so, with the bullshit. Uh, around climate change and the green agenda and net zero I mean, that all seems like it's falling apart now basically but what else have they got to continue the carnage with well you got the news uh, new weather warning systems <laughs> remember there's going to be a heat wave didn't happen, did it? We were all going to fry. We're all still here. So that went wrong. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I've seen more reports of people drowning in floods everywhere than I have cooking. But let's not go off on a tangent there on that one. But um, that's not enough fear for us, according to them. Now we've got them dropping the hints, as I said, about a future pandemic looming not far away. And yeah, we can hear the chance now. You must lock down for your own safety. Fuck off. <laughs> but uh, now they're telling us that they're developing their own... You know what I mean? Um for any future, shall we say, infections. But they can't say what it's in defence of or from. So personally, my opinion is this is a load of fiction again from them. It will be the same old thing just used again and again. And the one they're pushing at the moment, as I've said, is bird flu is my best guess that's the one they've been hinting at for a week or so now and uh, the reports are slowly building up in the press in mainstream media so my advice is on that one don't bother locking yourselves up but if you see any seagulls or blackbirds with a bit of a sniffle or a cough or a runny beak uh, just give them a bit of a wide berth six foot should do <laughs> Um, they could use the swine flu, but being as they balls that all up in 1976, I don't think that one will be uh, making a return any time soon. <laughs> so we can expect some more fear propaganda, bullshit, malinformation and what have you on that. On the uh, bird flu, there's only been, I think it's four confirmed... Um, people with it and they're all fine <laughs> maybe they took an aspirin and sat in the corner for a day but uh, so now we've got this barge in Portland is hitting the headlines again um, personally it's I think it's just being used as a distraction so you think they're doing something which they aren't but it's now open for business. They're actually um, putting some channel paddlers on there. But what is the point of it? I mean, it can only hold at best one good day's landings, shall we say. You know, when they're coming on a good day, 500 is nothing. So, you know, this thing is, is really pointless. But what's happening to the hotels? Now they told us they were putting them on this because they can move them out of the hotels. Well, there's more than 500 in the fucking hotels, I can tell you. But what's going to happen with the hotels? Most of these had six year contracts with the likes of Serco, whatever, funded by the government. Do you think they're going to let them, let them sit and rot and sit empty for possibly another three years and longer? 
don't forget some of them have only just uh, signed their contracts a lot are being rejected now mind there is a big fight back going on about it but uh, yeah my mind my opinion is they're just moving them out of the hotels into other places like camps and barges so they can put all the newer imports that they're bringing into the hotel shall we say they're just making space I'm going to shuffle around it's they're not getting rid of any that's just my opinion I mean we absolutely knew when Roland's speech came out of we will stop the boats no they won't we knew they wouldn't and it was always going to be a joke but <laughs> But anyway, my office, where's this here heat wave? Hmm? You promised us a lovely summer. Still waiting. <laughs> but uh, I'm still waiting, as I said, for water shortages. But who are they going to blame it on this year? Oh, we haven't had enough rain. <laughs> nope, we've had more than enough rain. Oh, it's all evaporated because of the heat wave. Nope we haven't had a heat wave and you sure as hell they won't blame themselves they'll find something else to blame it on it's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous I mean I made a joke about we will be paying for the air we breathe eventually well think about it with green levies green taxes, eco taxes net zero even council taxes getting in on the act. We are actually paying for the air we breathe. This is the mad world we're living in, folks. And believe me, I hate to say it, but it ain't going to get any fucking better anytime soon. But anyway, moving on. That's it for today, guys. Um, noticed a few more subs dropped in there. Welcome to you guys. Hope you stick around. Uh, I'm not for everybody, but if you don't enjoy the videos, you might enjoy the lives on a Friday afternoon. I, I try to do one most weeks. Um, but yeah, welcome guys. But until the next one, which will be tomorrow, as always, stay safe. Stay strong. Stay free from tyranny. Respects, people.